She kicked me out. My missus. But she kept the dog. Broke my heart leaving her. The dog I'm talking about, not the missus. I'm well out of that, I can tell you. Won't give me a moment's peace. Where have you been or have you been with day in, day out? Like a fucking broken record. Christ, I'm better off sleeping well after this than that man on Saturday night. Still, broke my heart leaving Bella. My dog was like my own kid. Well, better than any of my own kids, because God alone knows where any of them are, they don't give a toss about me. Got off broken a pub. Pathetic little thing she was, all skin and bones remained to patches in her fur from when she'd been scratching herself a bit. He had on a piece of rope, not even a proper lead, and you could tell the dog was scared to death of him. So I says to him, You want to look after that dog, pal? Mind your own fucking business, he starts, but he could see. I'd had a food by then, I can tell you. No one wants to mess with me when I've been on the booze. So he, he drinks up, he yanks on the boat when the dog looks right at me with these big wet sad eyes and I says outright, I ain't even thinking. I'll take off your hands. Oh fucking mentally starts and tries to make out she's worth 50 quid. So offers him a teller and he lets me have her. Didn't even have no name, poor creature. So I take her home. What are you doing bringing in that filthy animal for? says the missus. Our name's Bella, I tell you. If you don't like it, you can fuck off. I called her Bella because I could see she was beautiful. Even under all the filth. Scared shitless at first she was. Shaking and trembling like she'd been kicked all over the place. Christ, I swear, I'll never see that bloke again, I'll give him what's coming. And starving. I fried up a couple of burgers and they was gone in a flash. What are you doing giving that dog a dinner, yo? This is when she'd come in from work. Mind your own fucking business, I tells her. It is my fucking business when I'm the one who pays for the fucking food, she says. She had a point, mind you. Burgers ain't proper food for dogs. So, I took a few quid from her purse, bought some of them cans of dog meat and a packet of biscuits, what looked like bones, and some of them uh, special dog chocolates for a treat. Thought I might give the missus a few, just not tell her though I'm fit for them and consumption. Just watch her ram them down, her ugly gob. Went round to see her the other day. Bella, I mean, not my missus. Wouldn't give her the time of day and after what she done to me. Wouldn't let me in, would she? I'm banging on the door, and there's Bella, howling like her little lungs is going to burst. But it don't matter, because she won't open the door. My Bella, I miss her so much. I can feel the pain it's choking me up here so as I can hardly breathe. I had to be patient with her at the start. Bella, I mean. Not my missus. You have to be a fucking saint to put up with that cat. I bathed her, brushed her, fed her up so in no time you wouldn't have known it was the same dog. Whenever I come in the room, her face would light up, her tail start wagging. Like, I was the best thing in the world. <laughs> always 
this mess in the lab. Stupid bloody dog, says the missus. It's all the fucking stupid one I tell you. Then no, she starts swinging her fists at me to my like slap just to get shut the fuck up. Next night, I come back from the boozer. I can't get in. She's only gone and changed the fucking lot. Then, I get a text saying your stuff's around the pub. And when I get there, there's two black bin bags out in the yard. I open them up, and someone's pissed all over a lot of it. I know it was. It was that low life son of ours. Fat, lazy slob just like his mother. Anyway, I didn't want no trouble that night I went round. All I wanted was to see my dog and angry because I can hear Bella barking like she's gonna have a fit but she won't let me in and it's winding me up till I'm half mad listening to her so I give the door a bit of a kick it wasn't even a proper kick more a tap like didn't mean nothing anyway that's what I told the coppers when they come round he tried to break the door in officer she tells them the lying cow I wouldn't come near you if you're fucking paid me, I says. I just want to see my dog is all. Makes no difference. They still takes me and charges me. Now I got one of them restraining orders. Says I can't go within a mile of the ass. And what about Bella? I says, I says to him in court, when do I get to see my dog? I mean, they don't give a flying fuck. And I can see the missus and her son sitting there grinning all over their fagly faces because they got one over on me. Animals. They're better than people any day. Never let you down like people do. Mates, family. They'll piss all over you giving half a chance. And man's best friend. That's dogs, innit? And my Bella is the bestest friend I ever had. Ever will. So the missus said she was keeping her. That's despite me, that is. She don't give a monkeys about the dog. And I know we'll pull up to it. Our son. Fucking useless. Waste of space. Nasty piece of work he is. Kicked your head in seeing us look at you. You know what's worse? Worse than the wet and the cold no roof over your head. It's the fact that our son go round the house whenever he likes and see my dog while well, I've got to stay away I don't care what he's done to me but if he hurts my Bella he'll get what's coming to him I swear he fucking will I'll do him I'll and my missus She'll get what's coming to her and all. You mark my words. What goes round comes around. That's true as I'm standing here. And she'll deserve it to the cat. I'll dance on her fucking grave. Bella. Oh, Bella. I fucking love that 
TikTok.